Hello guys, my name is T-Team Leader, if you didn't already know, and this is my tutorial on how to get the CFG coding language in your Notepad++. So it looks a little more neat while you're coding and it's a little easier to understand. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. Uh, it should say Mediafire. <clears throat> so you just go there and it should bring you to a screen where you had to download something. Uh, it is a exe file or execute file. I know a lot of those have viruses and stuff, but I I made this one myself, so I can promise you there's no viruses. So what I want to do is right-click the download button and save link as. And when you do that, make sure you're on the desktop and hit save. It shouldn't take very long. And now when you're on your desktop, you should have a little file like this. I don't, yours might look a little different. I'm not sure. Mine's just a little CD with a box. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to just open that and hit run. Now when this comes up, uh, you have to pick a location where you want it to be extracted. There's only one file, so let's hit browse and hit desktop. Okay, and you should have this little text file come up. You can delete the first file now. Now with this text file, this is, your, uh, this is the coding language. I made this myself. As I said, there's no viruses or anything. So first things we want to, first thing that you want to do, you want to open up your Notepad plus plus, and go to language, and way down at the bottom, hit define your language. Now let's hit doc up here. It just makes it a little more easier. Uh, you can tell I have no languages, so just hit import. Make sure you click desktop, and when you scroll down, there should be CFG CO one. That's what it should be called. Uh, you just hit that and click open and it should say import successful and to check that you do have it you can just click CFG right there and uh, it'll it'll load all the things for it you don't need to save or anything it's already saved now so all I had to do is click undock and X that out now if you check right now it won't be there you won't have any CFG or nothing like that yet first what you want to do is you had to exit out and open it like open it back up again it just refreshes it and now when you look down you should have CFG down here and I'll show you what it looks like here now I use the uh, our tutorial one and it should look like this instead of what it normally looked like like this it will be uh, it'll be colored and easier to understand so yeah guys that's how you do it it's not that difficult <clears throat> just download a few files you can delete this now uh, unless you want to keep it it doesn't matter but uh, yeah you can just get rid of that so yeah that's how you do it uh, I'll be doing more tutorials if you ever asked um, yeah so just stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time